many, many years, but then at the senior level, failed to actually realize that potential. That's and a what I've found, there, I believe, Denise, in the uh, in the dress and the, the red spots on, and uh, she's she's being allowed. To, well, I think she's trying to get herself through because that's I think the area near where she's going to come up to do her interview with Jeanette, which we believe, looking at uh, the, yeah, she's walking away up the steps at the moment, so uh, she will be with Jeanette in just a few moments' time. Um, hopefully she'll be able to give her mum a massive hug as well. Look, there's mum. She's just, she's, she's got the same kind of foot speed that, that Dina's got. Getting herself <laughs> over there. The Look at that. She's going for the hug. Oi! Oi! Dina! Oi! <laughs> oh no, she's not. She's seen her and she's heading back. And <laughs> she's not going anywhere without that hug. What a lovely moment. <laughs> You know, parents go through it. We, we heard last night from uh, Keisha, Noah Lyles' mum, who won the 200 metres. But maybe that's why she didn't want to quite speak to mum just now, because she's got to do her interview and mum's brought her to tears. It's just the realisation. You imagine she's dreamt of winning, winning on the global, of the global stage, the times that came last year, but she's able to back it up this year, which is... Um, it's just incredible, and uh, her mom, her dad, they, they go through it all. Here she is, she's with Jeanette. <laughs> oh, an angel. Dina oh. Asher Smith, world champion over the 200 meters. We can see the emotion, we can see how much it means to you. It's rare that we see you break down, but my goodness, you deserve it. Thank you. Um, thank you. I just don't know what to say. I don't think it's properly sunk in, but um, it's just something that. <laughs> Between now and well, now at the last World Champs, John and I knew that I could do it, but there's a different thing behind going and doing it and to run 1083 and 2188 being tired because it's been a long champ, so I'm tired. Um, it means so much and yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'd be sorry, six races back to back to end with a 2188, a personal best. You timed your season to perfection. Anybody watching will be thinking, this is exhausting, but you can see how motivated you were to do it. Yeah, I mean, I know, I was tired. <laughs> but um, I think I woke up today and thinking, well, this is it, like, this is what, obviously I've got the relay, but this is the last year individual, and this is the moment that you did all your work for. This is what we knew that we could achieve if the season went well. So obviously the tiredness just disappeared by the end too, so. And it's been a big deal. Had I not stopped you and said to go back to your mother, she would have got to me. So to see your mom and to see your dad and everybody here, the support has been amazing. And how much does that mean to you? It means so much. And even so, there's so many British fans here. I know there are a lot of British people living in Durban. I know loads of them travelled. And for my mum to be here, my dad, John, and his wife, and my physios and everything, it means honestly so much. Sorry, I'm just... Normally I'm quite chatty and full of energy, but I'm just, like, lost for words because it's a different thing, everybody being like, oh the favourite or whatever but you still gotta go and do it you're only the favourite if you perform how I really expect you to you know so I was just really focused on putting together a good race and I jumped to this but that was real well and you join a club of amazing women Jessica Ennis Hill Christina Hurugu Fatima Whitbread so many women as a world champion Dina and to join that club what does that mean? It's gonna make me it's gonna make me emotional stop saying it <laughs> it means a lot but um yeah, it means a lot, so I'm really happy, but ultimately I'm um, going to enjoy this one and use it as motivation to get into the big one next year, but yeah, thank you so much. And we are so proud of you, congratulations and well done. Thank you so much, thank you. <laughs> I think she's, she's going to get lots of hugs tonight, a lot of love tonight, and... And that emotion, it's so raw, it's so real, but she, you know, she said I'm normally chatting. She's she put into words brilliantly there and eloquently exactly what you know, you've been saying. It's okay saying you're the favourite, it's okay saying you're the informed athlete, you're the quickest in the field. You've got to execute, you've got to deliver, and that is an enormous pressure. And pressure is a privilege, Michael, but it, it can weigh heavily on some athletes, and that stops them on the biggest stage of all, but not her tonight. Yeah, I mean, Dina, we knew she was someone that could handle the pressure, and... Um... And I think that that is really the difference maker. I mean, we talked about earlier, you know, other coaches and whether they could share with other coaches, you know, what's special about Dina. It's not the training necessarily, it's Dina's attitude. I mean, at 23 years old, and we've seen her from the very beginning, she's taken every year as an opportunity to get better, to learn how, not only how to be a better athlete from a technical standpoint, from a training standpoint, and race execution, but also, She's very mature in how she handles and approaches the expectations on her. 
how she handles her career and the potential she has. She's owned that potential and taken the responsibility. It's my responsibility to get the most out of this potential. How do I do that? Do I do that by letting everyone know what my goals are? No, as she said, I, I'm gonna keep that in. I'm gonna hold a little bit close to my vest. Those sorts of things are, allow a person to mature very quickly in this sport that is very difficult. It allows you to make the, the right decision. Most of the athletes that don't reach their potential, it's because of a series of poor decisions. She's made the right decision. She understands that. And I think that that is truly the difference maker and why she not only has won this championship, but she realized her full potential, which the potential was the potential to win a championship. There have been other British young athletes who had the potential to win championships as well, and they didn't. I think you just feel that it's a start though, don't you? I think we've looked at Dina for a number of years and she's had disappointment with injury and you can just see that this is the start of something really incredible from her. You know, she, she knows how to do it now. She's tasted what it tastes like to be a world champion, to win those global titles. And she's only going to learn from that, take it into next year. And I'm so excited to see what she's going to do at the end. And I think even with that injury, uh, she, she was so determined that she wasn't going to quit her season. She was going to try to rehab, to make it on the start line, because she understands that there's a learning in that too. That sometimes you don't arrive in tip-top condition and you still have to deliver. But Lauren, she's been fantastic these championships. That's the start of the light show for the uh, hurdles, uh, the men's 100